Welcome to this week's Hymn of the Week. This week we have ELW 781, Children of the Heavenly Father. Today I'm going to share three points about the text and then three points about the music. So let's start with the text. Carolina or Carolina Zandalberg, the Swedish writer. She, was, she wrote this in 1850 and it was probably around the age of 17 or 18. So she wrote this as a teenager. Second point, the hymn is certainly about God's care and protection. Verse 3, if we look, neither life nor death shall ever from the Lord his children sever, refers to Romans 8.38. Nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ. Third point, this is really interesting, Per Harling, Sundell's biographer, mentions that the baptism hymn, it doesn't really say anything about baptism, even though it is the baptism hymn. It's the baptism here at Emmanuel Church as well. So it does connect children, but if you look at the text itself, it really doesn't say much about baptism. So I'll leave that for you to discover and figure out. Feel free to put your comments if you do think it applies to baptism. I can see both sides here. How about the tune? Spigarle kan ingen vara, Swedish folk tune linked to the text 23 years later in 1873. Second point. It fits within an octave, so it's really nice for congregational singing. Nice leaps, pretty repeated notes, so really nice tune to sing. We don't, we just know it's a Swedish folk tune, we don't really know who put it together. We do know this though, and it's like a Polish mazurka in that its weight or accents are systematically placed on the second and third beat, so. Third beat here, accent. Third beat, and then third beat here. So much like a Polish mazurka, believe it or not. So here's Children of the Heavenly Father. popular tune for baptisms, and I connect it still with baptism, even though Per Harling claims it doesn't have much to do with baptism. I do want to thank, uh, use the arrangement of Wilbur Helt and Valerie Shields. I think I've used both of their arrangements uh, and harmonizations for children of the Heavenly Father. Thank you very much for listening to Hymn of the Week.